Hello guys, it's Prazzy Hacks, and I'm going to show you guys how to root and uh, put a Jelly Bean ROM on your Galaxy S Fascinate. It's the Verizon version of the Galaxy S. So basically what happened is my mom got a new phone, the Galaxy S3, and she had this old, old Galaxy Fascinate laying around. So I thought, hey, I'm going to make this a freaking awesome iPod. So, I'm going to show you guys how to root it and put Jelly Bean on. It's Really simple, and this gonna, this video is going to be for beginners and advanced people. So, here we go. First of all, you're going to have to download the files in the description. And you want to open Odin. It's going to give you the download link in the description and everything. And it should look like this. And you want to click Repartition. You want to check that. You want to click Pit. Go to Atlas. Wherever you downloaded all my files, you want to get Atlas version 2.2 pit. Download that. Or just put it in the pit when you click pit. And then click PDA. And get the C, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be whole long numbers. And click that. Click open. And it should be like this. Now plug in your Fastnate with the micro USB. Or, yeah, I think it's called the micro USB cable. Plug it in. Hold. Uh, take out the battery first before you plug it in. So, take out the battery, plug in the Samsung Fascinate. I know it's kind of weird, just plug it in. And hold the down button on the volume. And it should go into downloading mode, and it shows like an Android digging up stuff, and it's like yellow. It's pretty cool, you know. So, and then you click start, and then uh, it will uh, keep doing this, and I'll show you what happens when it's done loading. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but I forget to start. <sighs> I, um, the recording didn't work when I, uh, when this thing finished, so I can't show you guys. But basically what happens is in this box, it will say pass, and it's like all yellow, and you click reset, and your phone will go off downloading mode. So once that's done, you put back in your battery, into your phone, and you power it on. And it will do, like, this downloading thing. So, you power on your phone, and you wait. And it'll like wipe data and format and data and you know, re be successful and reboot and just let that do its thing and I'll be right back when that so and then the my phone's done and it went through the download mode and it just rebooted and went to the lock screen. So once that happens you re uh, turn it off and pull out the battery again. Set the battery down and then you wanna click un um uncheck repartition, click PDA. CWM4, which is clockwork mod if you know, if you've ever rooted before, click open, and that will be like that. You want to get back to download mode, and uh, basically how you do that again, is you plug in your phone without the battery on, hold down the down volume button, and it will go into downloading mode. And it shows, like, you know, what it shows from the first one. So you click start, and this takes, like, really quick. And it'll be like that, and it'll say reset, and pass. So then you click reset. And then you want to click PDA again. Click GB bootloaders. Click OK. Get back into downloading mode on your phone, so just unplug it. Plug it back in. And every time you uh, put your phone in, it goes like that. It shows the yellow mark. That's how you know you're plugged in. So, once it shows all that, you click start. And it takes, like, really quick, like, a quick 10 seconds. And you're done for Odin. And, um, that's really it for on the computer. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I forgot one more thing. Um... You're going to have to take out the micro SD card from the back of the phone, and you're going to have to use an adapter, uh, an SD card adapter somehow, and to plug it into your computer. So once you get the SD card into your computer, it'll reload and it'll look like this. And it should have all these files if it's stock. I have made a folder, which I put all my root stuff in. Delete that and just d drag the Cyanogen mom, which is CM10, in the gaps into the uh, a folder that you create on your phone, or just drag it into the uh, root, which of the root is just anywhere in here. Doesn't matter. Just drag in a folder. Remember where it is. So when you go into Clockwork mod, you can find it and install it. And if you guys don't have one of these adapters, 
before you do the root process, before you root, um, you could just um, plug in your phone and drag the files over. It's pretty easy, and uh, now it's done for the computer. And uh, I'll be right back. And I'll show you guys what to do on the phone. Put the phone all back together with the micro SD, the battery, and you can put the back on. So, yeah. And now, basically what you want to do is you want to turn on the phone by holding the power button and both up and down volume keys. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And you want to do it until it will show the Samsung logo. And then it will go black and then it will show us the Samsung again. And once it shows the Samsung again, let go. So watch. I let go. And it will bring in Clockwork Mod, which is a way of installing ROMs. And if you guys know what ROMs is, it's kind of like a new OS. It's an upgraded OS, okay? And so what you want to do is go... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this really good. Is it focusing? Yeah, you really can. Here we go. Um, wipe data and factory reset. Go... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys how to navigate. That would help. Use the up, volume up and down buttons to navigate. And the power button to click. So... Go to yes, click yes, and should be done. Now, go wipe cache, yes, and ignore the sign in the background. Click advanced, wipe double bit cache, click yes, and it should be like that. Now, you want to go back and click install zip from SD card. Uh, choose zip from SD card. Go wherever you go to wherever you put the files, and go CM10. That would be the first four five letters. CM slash ten. I mean, uh, CM dash ten. Ooh, that's it. Go to yes and wait. And this is what will happen. Don't be scared. It always does this. It will bring Samsung. And it will say that. Saying it's your mod Galaxy S. So. Don't freak out. This camera really can't focus on this. Because it's really bright. But what you want to do. This is basically. An updated version of Silent Clockwork mod. Which wouldn't work. The old one for its Anus mod. So you want to click install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Go to where you look at file and download CM10 again. And this time we'll actually download it. And it'll go where the blue bar. And the blue bar shows how much it has. Yeah, it's right there. See? And the blue bar shows how much it has. And now it's. And it closed, so when I'm done, I'll show you guys what to do. So when you're done, I'll go back to this screen. And then you want to choose zip from SD card again. Go to where you found it. Go to where you downloaded your files and click gaps. And download gaps. Click yes. And it should be like this. And once it's done downloading, I'll show you what to do. When GAPS is done loading, you want to go back and reboot your system. This is what it's going to look like. You'll go to Samsung. It will look like this. It will go white, and this is the boot animation. For Cyanogen Mod 9. See. And it will take a couple minutes for it to load since it's the first time, so um, let's see. Yeah, I'll be back. So once you're done, I'll go Android is upgrading. If you ever seen Jelly Bean, you'll know the screen. It does a good thing. And it should upgrade. And now I'll show you what. And basically, once this is done upgrading, it'll go through initial setup, which I'll wait. It's done yet. And so sometimes it reboots after this. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Gonna 
fishing boot. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see. Sorry, guys, for the freaking shaky camera. And there, you got your initial setup. And you set up your new jelly bean Samsung Fastlane. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I have it all run, and as you can see, it's way faster than gingerbread or Peroria, or whatever you have this phone on. And if you guys remember having this phone, when I had Peroria or gingerbread, you remember how slow it was. My mom's would never boot up. Every time she rebooted it, it got stuck at the Verizon screen. So I'm really happy to have this. And this has been Prodigy Hacks. Peace.